hey y'all so if you're tuned in i'm sure that you want to see the full tutorial of how i achieve this multicolor highlight look so stay tuned you don't have to love me you don't even have to like me but you will respect me you know why you know why because i'm a boss um. So this look that I'm working on now is a jet black unit with the multicolor highlights. And so all of the products that I'm using will be linked in the description if you are interested in creating this unit yourself. So I am using Revlon um, Color Silk in the shade black. I'll have that information in the, in the description again. I'm also using three raw Indonesian bundles and I'm dyeing those jet black. And then I also will use um, a 613 Indonesian bundle as well. And so for the bundles, I am doing the watercolor method. So whenever you have the Revlon color silk, it does come with like the developer and then the color. So you'll mix all of that together in the applicator bottle that they give you. And that's exactly what I just did. So now I'm waiting the hair to get it saturated. And then that color that I mixed up. I'm just going to pour that right into this tub and mix it all up right now it looks like a funky brown color but just trust the process because as it starts processing and gets all in there when we come back you'll notice that the whole thing is like this deep black dark color and that's exactly what we're wanting because that is how we are going to um watercolor these bundles into that jet black So with watercolor, you know, you just dip the hair in and out like you see me doing now. I do let that sit in there for about 30 minutes and then I go ahead and pull it and rinse it. I went ahead and rinsed it with conditioner and everything. Make sure you get all of that color out of there. And then also the good thing with the Revlon Color Silk, they also give you a conditioner that's inside of that packet as well. So it comes with the developer, the color, and the conditioner that you can use once you're done with that whole process. So now I'm just using the conditioner that they gave me and conditioning these bundles so that way everything is nice and well. So once I get done conditioning, I do let that sit for about like another 25-30 minutes as well. Now moving over to the fun part is actually coloring the hair. I will have all the colors listed in the description again, so do not worry. I have one bundle of 613 hair Indonesian and I have all of the um, hair separated. I did have six colors, so I did three colors on one side, three on the other side. And as you can see, I did different dots on those strands of hair, so I knew exactly where the hair will be placed at. And so as you can see, like right now, is that raspberry color that I'm using. And so you're just going to alternate those colors in between. And so that way, whenever you are constructing your wig, then it'll be various colors not the same colors on the same side just like how i'm working on this back side now so you see it's yellow blue and orange i'm going to alternate those just like how i did on the front side And for this look, when I did separate the 613 here, I did separate it into about 30 equal parts. So with six different colors, that's equaling out to five colors um, total. So when you are done coloring all of the hair, it should look similar to this. You do want to let that sit for a little while. And then once you do go to wash it, you need to wash with cold water so that way it locks the hair, the color in and it doesn't bleed. So that's what it looks like once it's done. Y'all, this color was so pretty and vibrant. So now I'm actually going to move on over to actually constructing the wig. So this unit, I want it to be one of those deep style part wigs. So I move my closure over to the side. Now I'm just pinning it down so I can sew the closure on. And um, I also do have one-on-one -on -one classes. If you are interested in learning how to construct a wig on the sewing machine, 
feel free to contact me via email or on my social media pages and I will be more than happy to teach you how to make a wig on the sewing machine. So nothing special here, I'm just sewing my closure onto my cap and then now I'm going to move over to my guidelines. Typically when I make my guidelines, I make them about an inch apart. I believe I did that on this wig too, but this is really when it's going to be at your preference because with this wig, it's really about where you want that color to be placed at. So right now I'm just outlining my closure and then I'll start making my guidelines as well. And with this, you will notice that I do write like a C or a B and the C stands for color, the B stands for black. And so that's how I knew, okay, this is where I want my color to be it this is where i want my jet black to be it so you just kind of alternating that color so that way it's an even distribution all throughout the wig so that way those pops of colors can come through so now here's the fun part where it's actually just making the wig so first thing i always started off with doubling my black whiffs and when constructed this wig i doubled all of the black bundles and then i um single the highlighted hair throughout the wig so i used four bundles all in all so i did three bundles of the raw indonesian hair and dyed it jet black and then i had one bundle of the 613 indonesian that i had colored to make the multicolor highlights and so all of the black hair is doubled throughout and then the colored hair is singled through and then i also of course colored my closure off camera and again this creating a wig on the sewing machine is just so much faster and easier so if you're interested in learning how to do that again feel free to reach out to me i'll be more than happy to teach you how to make a wig and construct and customize everything that you need to know now the wig is complete y'all y'all cannot tell me that this wig is not five like it's not even styled yet and i was already obsessed and in love with it like do you see like those pops of colors like the blue the purple that raspberry color the yellows the orange like it's just it's so subtle but bold at the same time and i'm really a fan of it this is probably one of my favorite units that i have made so far so that's just me go ahead and combing all the hair out. So now the fun part is actually customizing it. Again, like I said, I wanted to do one of those deep side parts. So I'm just going ahead and carving my part out, um, sectioning my hairs for the baby hairs, and then I'll start plucking and everything like that. So just a quick tip when you are styling plucking and everything with your wig the more foam that you use the easier it is to mold it down everything is going to be in the correct direction that you want it to be in when you're drying which also means that there's less hot combing that you have to do so with this look like i said i wanted it to be the deep side part and it's the frontal effect to where it's going to be no hair is going to be left out at all so it may seem like my baby hairs are really big but once i wear the wig you'll see that it's not really that big and then i also had like the sideburn kind of piece as well i always make sure that you have enough hair to cover up those last tracks because nobody wants to see no tracks hanging out the wig because you know that's just not cute
So after I mowed the hairline down, I did go ahead and put it under the dryer so that so that way everything could be molded in place. And then I go ahead and move on over to the styling. And as you can see, I will be using my product, my Silkening Mist, which is a thermal heat protector. And it also does get your hair silky, bone straight. So that's exactly what I will be using. And I'm just styling this hair as normal. Nothing fancy, just pressing the hair out. So once I completed the unit, this is what it looks like. It is so pretty, so vibrant, but subtle at the same time. You have those pops of colors. You can see everything, but it's not overbearing, overwhelming, none of that. It's a really, really pretty unit. I've gotten plenty of compliments on this as well. So here are some more views and photos and videos of it. And then I also have a video of what it looks like on myself. So this unit is available on my website for recreation if you are interested in purchasing this unit. But feel free to drop some comments and let me know what you think about it. I look forward to seeing y'all's feedback. Thank you.